heart go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. In the natural world, darkness does not have a specific color, but rather is the absence of light. When we perceive objects in real life, our eyes automatically adjust to the varying levels of light, resulting in a seamless transition from light to shadow. However, in film productions, recreating this natural effect can be challenging. And managing deep neutral shadows is an essential aspect of achieving high-quality visuals. Deep neutral shadows can help to replicate the natural world by creating a clear and defined separation between the shadowed areas and the rest of the scene. This enhances the overall clarity of the image, making it more engaging and realistic. Maintaining consistency in dark tones is crucial for creating a polished final product. When shadows have a tint shift, it can make the overall image appear unbalanced and inconsistent. This can be especially noticeable in scenes with rapid changes in lighting or when different shots are cut together. By ensuring that the shadows remain neutral, the color and tone of the entire image can be more consistent, resulting in a more professional-looking final product. Whether you are a seasoned video production professional or a student just starting in the field, this tutorial is designed to provide you with how to achieve neutral deep shadows on your footage in DaVinci Resolve. So, let's get started. We already have our footage on the timeline. You can see, we have developed a cinematic look over here on this shot and we have already applied Color Space Transform, or CST, after our Look Development node. You may also notice that while this look is visually appealing and creates a cinematic atmosphere for our footage, it also results in a significant green tint in our shadows. Upon closer examination of our shadows in the vector scope, you can see the RGB graphs are not aligning properly in the shadow regions. Often, if not always, when we are finalizing a color grade, we have to make sure that our shadows have a neutral tint. But right now, as you can see in this shot, it is not having a neutral tint, but a clear green tint in its shadows. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the few major techniques to fix this. In the first technique, we're going to simply add a node and we're going to rename it as Shadows Fix. Then we're going to come to our curves and we're going to go to our Luminance versus Saturation curve. Now, what this does is it allows us to control saturation at different parts of the luminance. So in the curve box, if you go ahead and click on the right side of the slider and bring it down, you'll notice that it will bring down any saturation that existed in the higher luminance range over here. Similarly, you can also increase the saturation by bringing the curve slider up. Now, we will be using the luminance versus saturation curve tool and communicate resolve to decrease the saturation of anything that exists in the lower shadows. As we make these adjustments, you will notice that our shadows have become very neutral and the darker regions appear truly black, as intended. Let's examine the differences between the shot before and after adjustments. In the before shot, all of our scopes appear misaligned within the shadowed region. However, in the after shot, all of the scopes have been realigned and are now in a single straight line. Although we have achieved a neutral shadow in this shot, it should be noted that this method is more or less a shortcut to achieve lower saturation or neutral black on your image. Now, a better way to make this work is our method 2, which is much cleaner and more precise. To make the desired changes, let's first turn off the Shadow Fix 1 node. Then, we can add the new Serial node and label it as Shadows Fix 2. This new method involves identifying the hue in the region of interest and then adding a hue in the opposite area to correct the shadows, or simply, we're just going to shift the hue in the opposite region in the lower blacks. And the way to achieve that is to go into our log wheels. As we zoom in on the footage, we can see that our deep shadows, or our blacks, are tinted towards teal and green. To fix this, we will simply come back to our log wheel and we are going to shift the shadows in the opposite direction. A little bit more… that's it! Now you can notice we have effectively neutralized any strong color cast that was present in the shot's deeper blacks. 
Let's go to our vector scope to see the results. And as you do that, you will notice that we have achieved an aligned line over here. Now, if you want to make even more precise adjustments, you can use vector scope as a visual reference while you're making the changes in the log wheel. Essentially, you'll want to shift the color until all the shadows appear black and the shadow region of the scope is aligned in the vector scope. Bravo! You will notice that we have achieved much better neutral blacks with our current method as compared to the previous one. If you would like to compare the two, we can take a still image using our current method, disable it and enable the previous method. Now as you can see, with our current method, we are able to retain a lot of color detail in other areas of the image while maintaining an overall effective grade. This means that our skin tones, reds, cinematic tint and overall look are preserved and the only thing affected is our blacks. This is a much more precise way of achieving neutral blacks compared to just making a blanket adjustment using our luminance versus saturation slider. In summary, managing deep neutral shadows in film productions is essential for achieving high quality visuals. Neutral deep shadows can help to replicate the natural world, create a clear and defined separation between the shadowed areas and the rest of the scene, and maintain consistency in the color and tone of the image. By paying attention to these details, filmmakers can create more engaging, realistic and polished visual experiences for their audiences. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and subscribe to our brand new series of tutorials to help you create and extract more out of the resolve and create even more manipulated and sophisticated imagery. Gone are the days of traditional film stocks playing a crucial role in the film industry. Our Power Grade 2023 is here to change that. It offers a negative film emulation and a positive film emulation, giving you the ability to replicate the look and feel of those classic film stocks or even create your own unique look. With the ability to modify color components individually, the possibilities are endless. Don't miss out on this powerful tool. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter, subscribe and click on the bell icon and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory to stay updated on our PowerGrade release.